today's question, how can I find a better life balance as an INFP that lets me recharge but still be productive and involved in my life? Coming up in this video, my thoughts on it and some of the cognitive functions that you can leverage in order to make a better use of your INFP personality type. What's up, Legend? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology, where I help INFPs find their spark and create a life of purpose and meaning. And a lot of that comes from leveraging personality type. Personality type is not everything. I understand that. It's just a model to understand behavior. And yet, you can use that in so many ways. It has been one of the most impactful models of thinking in my life. And I want to share some of the benefits of using your cognitive functions or this understanding of your cognitive functions in a way that will help you procrastinate less, be more motivated, find a better work life balance where you're not just exhausted all the time, but you're actually moving forward towards a goal that is meaningful to you. So one of the key aspects of recharging yourself for any personality type is to lean into your dominant function. And yet we also need to give it a break. So it's this weird balance of needing to leverage it and utilize it as the main character class or the main hero of our story. And yet also needing to know when it's just taxed out when it's been used too much. I just had this vision of Bruce Willis in Die Hard, just all bloody and beat up and he's got glass shards in his foot. He's exhausted. And that's not our that's not our dominant function, right? That's likely heavily extroverted sensing. And yet, we can think of that for ourselves as introverted feeling this cognitive function that's about aligning your life with your values, what's important to you and stepping into that, maybe using it as a cause to take action. But on a simpler level, it's just does this fit with me? Is this aligned with who I am as a person? If it's not, then I don't want to do that. If it is, then I'd likely want to do more of it. And it's a constant sifting and searching for little bits of our personality type, and then incorporating those into this larger character that is ourselves, like sculpting our character. And so when that aspect of ourself gets maybe decision fatigue, which might sound strange for someone who struggles to make decisions, we're always searching for what is the right decision. And we have to consult all these different parts of ourselves, these different aspects of ourselves, And it can be quite exhausting, because we want to make a decision that all of us is aligned with all of our parts are aligned with even some of the basic stuff. What do you want to eat today? Or is this color a good color for the bookshelf? It can be quite taxing. And so sometimes that character needs a break. It needs to relax. And you can go the polar opposite side to extroverted thinking. This is a natural mechanism within your psyche. This isn't working introverted feeling the resonating soul isn't working. So maybe I'll just do the opposite flip over to strategizing commander extroverted thinking and just take some actions, get as logical as I can about it get some stuff done, distance myself from the emotional components, and just seek progress. And that's good. That is a positive way that we can rejuvenate ourselves introverted feeling doing things that are aligned with ourselves and then flipping to extroverted thinking to give that soul introverted feeling a break, get some stuff done, let it recharge and go back into it. That's one way. And that can be good if you are leveraging it intentionally. When it comes out as a stress relief mechanism, when you've hit a wall, when everything is just bad, and you don't know what to do, and you're tired and you're exhausted, and nobody's listening to you and somebody stepped on your values, and your boundaries are collapsing. When the commander comes out, then that's not good. That's micromanagement, that's anger. That's not the place you want to be, right? You want to use it intentionally, so that you can work 
and you can life, you can work and life together. So of course, you're going to want to set up some strategies in your life. You want to set up the systems that help you achieve your goals. If you want to be an artist, you need to have the paints, you need to have the paper, the canvas, you need to have the time and the energy and the resources, the environment set up so that you can do that. And that's likely extroverted thinking systems that need to be put in place so that you can emerge into the identity that you want. On a simpler scale for recharging, you're going to want to go to your introverted sensing. Introverted sensing in the RPG model is what is called the stabilizing guardian. This is about stabilizing, maintaining consistency from the past to now, even implementing those into the future in a way that creates routine, creates habit, creates familiarity, and you know what to expect. And sometimes we can go too heavily on this. It gets overheated or it puffs itself up and the guardian's like, no, I can handle all this. And we don't do anything. We put up our shield and we just wait. So knowing how to use that intentionally to create recharging moments in our life is important. And what you can do is you can tap into positive aspects of your past. Listening to music that you listened to in the past when you were 12 and you were on the swing singing old songs. I can't even think of the name of the song. Ooh, I diddy diddy dum diddy do. <laughs> That's the song that I just had some memory of me singing on the swing. I was born in 1984, so yeah, that that kind of dates me some, and that's when the song came up, okay? Anyway, anyway, don't yuck my yum, okay? That's I like that song. Singing, listening to music, doing something positive from your past, bringing that into now, helps you activate that younger part of yourself. It allows you to refresh. It allows you to stay in the introverted realm of things. One of the most exhausting things for anybody is to go to the other realm, the other stance, the other domain. As INFPs, we are defensive characters within the RPG model. We're introverts. And we regain energy specifically through introverted feeling, reflecting over our identity. But in general, you have to be alone often to do that. You have to have more time, more space in order to do that. So that's why I call it defensive as opposed to offensive, where you are taking more actions, you are engaging with the outer world. And so flipping from defensive to offensive is quite exhausting. And yet that is that's a place of growth. But we're not talking about that in this video, we're talking about rejuvenation and work life balance and productivity. So when you need to rejuvenate, instead of doing more stuff in the outer world, take some time for yourself, watch a movie that you've watched 15 times, listen to music, as I said, journal, write about a story of your past, reflect with gratitude over life's experiences. And I know a lot of times people will say, I had a horrible childhood and I don't have any positive memories. First of all, I'm sorry. That's awful. And I don't want that for anybody. And also there's probably something that you can have gratitude for. You might need to search, you might need to use your imagination in a way that's going to benefit you and find ways of thinking like my dad did all these bad things. So now I know about myself that I don't want to be like that. And I'm going to support other children as they grow up and be a good fatherly figure. Definitely not true with my family. My dad's great. But this is something that I've heard recent. So that's one way that you can forge gratitude, you can craft gratitude for negative experience. And it takes some mental work, it takes some emotional work, it takes some ideational work, and yet it works. So use your imagination to find ways to create gratitude for your past experiences, and then anchor that into the future, create stability, create structure, allow yourself time to dedicate yourself to your craft. If it is, again, art, this is the time where you sit and you relax and you go through your art. Not with an outcome in mind, but 
just enjoying creation, enjoying merging your emotions with the pen and the pencil or the paintbrush or the pottery or whatever it is. And zooming out a little bit, the whole meta perspective of this is you want to leverage your strengths, introverted feeling, the soul. You want to be able to do enough extroverted intuition, creative things, the explorer, innovating, getting out there, brainstorming, shaking things up a little bit, that it's not taxing, but it's engaging because you like the feeling of creating something new that aligns with your identity. When you get stressed out, when you get exhausted from doing too much peopling or doing too much in the outer world or not creating enough of what you want, then leverage your introverted sensing guardian to take some time to reflect, to review the past in a positive way, find gratitude for what was there, enjoy moments of nostalgia, intentionally chosen nostalgia. And also, when you have the energy, when you can do it, find ways of creating systems that allow your actions to naturally happen and emerge into the type of person that you want to be. I guarantee if you are exhausted and you're miserable and you're working every day doing tax work at a tax office, sitting down in a cubicle all day and you don't like your boss and you feel like you're just a number within the system, finding a work-life balance is not where you need to focus. It's probably on aligning your career and your life and your decisions with the things that really spark your joy and interest and happiness and are aligned with your personality type because the world needs you to step up and step into your potential future you. And you can't do that if you're miserable and exhausted all the time. So finding ways to create those systems and strategies that let you rejuvenate and then let you go back in there hard with all the passion that you can create and muster. That is, that's what the world needs. If you want some help with this, you can reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one coaching, schedule.geekpsychology.com. We can set up a free strategy session where we can see if we're a good fit, if I can help you out. I likely can, but there are some things that I just, I don't touch or it's not my interest. And I can probably refer you to somebody who can help. Or you can go to infp.geekpsychology.com and get the INFP masterclass that goes into the different four characters of your personality type. We personify the cognitive functions. You learn tips and tricks and techniques to leverage your personality type so it works for you instead of against you so that you can bring your gifts, your genius to the world and make it a better place, make an impact on the world or just feel okay, just feel better about your life. It's been called a life-changing course, and I am just so happy to hear that. And I just want you to know that there are ways out. There are solutions. There are things that you can do to improve your life, whether it's from me or whether it's you spending your time and energy to create those routines and learn those lessons. That's your choice. But if you want my help, I would love to help you out with it. So you can check the links below and go over to INFP or schedule a call with me. One last little tip, bring in community, bring in accountability, bring in a support system for yourself so that you are focused on what's important and you have people that you trust and love and care for, as well as they trust and love and care for you that are able to support you and help you ping ideas off of each other, help you relax a bit when necessary, and just make sure that you're not forgetting important things like drinking water and eating and stretching and just normal health concerns. Because those are some things that I know for myself when I start going too heavily on the commander, because my soul introverted feeling is just emboldened by this thing that he wants to create, then the commander can take over 
and I don't even notice that I haven't stood up in 10 hours or that I haven't eaten or anything like that. So make sure you have a community or people, friends, family, someone there to support you on your journey as well. I got nothing else. Maybe I do, but not for this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you got anything that you want to share that's really helped you out. Good luck, have fun. Peace.